Sometimes the hardest part of doing anything is getting started. When using Excel 2013 or later, we can get a lot of help getting started. When we create a pivot table, Excel can recommend several ways to summarize our data and even include a quick preview of how the field layouts are going to look so we can pick the one that gives us the insights that we're looking for. It really is actually very simple. All we have to do is make sure that we have our cursor somewhere inside our data range. In this case, we're working in the Pivot Tables Getting Started file that can be found in the Chapter 2 Working Files folder. There's only one worksheet here called Orders, and it has about 50 rows of records in it. We want to simplify this. So we're going to click anywhere in the data, move up to the Insert tab, and choose the second option in the Tables group called Recommended Pivot Tables. This is going to put the marching ants or the marquee around our data. You kind of want to take a look at that and make sure it did select your data correctly. And then it also displays the recommended pivot tables window. On the left hand side, Excel will recommend several different ways to organize the data. And if we look very closely, we can see that it's looking at organizing it by region or possibly by the types of plans that we have in our sales. We could continue to scroll down and see other options. All we need to do is to select one of the options on the left, and we can see a preview of what that's going to look like on the right. I think I like the option that's going to organize or group or categorize the information by our data plans and then give us calculations for our commissions, our order totals, and our turn time. Now, just in case we don't find anything that we like, we can always come to the bottom left side of the window and click or tap the option that says blank pivot table. This will create a blank pivot table using the source data. And it's perfect if Excel just isn't quite hitting what we want from the data itself. There's also a link to the right of blank pivot table that allows us to change the source data. So if for some reason, Excel did not properly identify our data, probably because we didn't click in it to begin with, we can click here to change the source. Otherwise, select the recommended pivot table that you like, and then click or tap the OK option. And in just a few seconds, we will be presented with a brand new worksheet inserted to the left of the selected worksheet that has our information displayed in the finished pivot table. Excel also displays the pivot table fields pane on the right hand side of the screen, and it also activates the Analyze tab of the Pivot Table Tools contextual tabs in the ribbon. This basically means that if it's done, great, we're finished. But if we want to do any work with our pivot table, the screen is set up to give us access to all of the tools that we may need. Personally, I think the recommended pivot tables option in Excel 2013 is really the fastest, easiest way to quickly create pivot tables that summarize and display the data in the way that we want. It's part of the powerful set of tools that allow us to create pivot tables exactly the way that we need them to be in the most efficient way possible. In this case, we're able to create them in literally three clicks.